I'm Kira O'Keefe and I'm a ceramic artist and behind me today are 262 art houses in an exhibition called 1916 Sackville Street. Um, it's remembering 262 civilians that lost their lives during the rising in 1916. So it's civilians from 2016 remembering civilians from 1916 in the celebration of art. We put up the names of 262 civilians on our website and thankfully 262 people from all walks of life all over Ireland came on board and joined us in this project. And this is my creation um, made from clay. Um, it is for the civilian Charles Highland who was a dentist and lived on Three Percy Place. Um, I represented his um, trade by putting a chair made in clay um, to represent a dentist chair and also a cushion with a tooth on top um, in the colour red for the cushion and white for the tooth representing war and peace. We have uh, a few well-known civilians here in the exhibition. Um, Francis Sheehy Skeffington, the pacifist, who was executed during the Rising, during the week um, of the Rising. We also have Sean Foster, who was only two years of age, um, and he was the youngest of the civilians to be killed. And also Margaret Naylor, who died the same day as her husband, who also died in the Western Front. My name is Margaret Farrell and I'm the artist that made this house here. It's to commemorate the, the man William Moore. Um, William Moore got caught in the crossfire in the Anglesey Bridge battle. On the fourth day when the fighting eased, William Moore came out of the house to sweep up the broken glass with the man who owned the house, Mr McCullough, and a bullet caught him in the back. He was rushed to the hospital in the ambulance with Mr McCullough, but he died on the way there. Hi, my name is uh, Pari Gallen. Um, I'm the archivist with St John Ambulance. Um, here beside me um, is 40 Merlion Square. Um, this building was one of the first emergency auxiliary hospitals set up by St John Ambulance during the Easter Rising. Um, there, were, there was a total of seven auxiliary hospitals set up, um, but this one here is quite unique. Um, it had a team of medical doctors and trained nurses. What really makes it interesting between the connection with St John Ambulance, um, there is a big connection between the high school and St John Ambulance. Um, a past pupil there, Holden Stoddart, um, he was the only member of St. John Ambulance that was killed during the Easter Rising. Um, he was killed on the 26th of April um, at around 2pm outside Carisbrook House, um, just on Northumberland Road. Um, Gillian Godsell has been, has been a great help, with the, also, as a, she's also a past pupil of the school in Rakar.